This is the future of parachute training. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 check canopy. I'm now checking that my canopy is fully inflated. It means trainee jumpers can get a taste of what's to come without leaving terra firma. It's never going to be the real thing. You're never going to sort of be able to experience that in this sort of environment. However, it is a, a very useful tool for... It's mainly getting the drills, so making things second nature. Before this new technology came along, the closest you get to parachuting without jumping out of a real-life moving plane was this, a mocked-up fuselage and a dummy parachute. But it was always lacking a certain element of reality, and that's something that's virtually abundant in the new trainer. In fact, the virtual reality environment is so sophisticated it can be tailored to simulate emergencies and different operating environments. What you're seeing on the screens at the moment is our uh, training drop zone at RF Western on the Green near Bicester. Uh, and this is where the students who come to the parachute training school will do all of their parachute descents. But yes, in answer to your question, you could program in any drop zone that you wanted to and run a similar sort of scenario. Although the machine can simulate a worst case scenario, like a damaged chute, parachute jumping still requires basic skills. And they're still taught the old fashioned way. Yeah, by having in the virtual world put into there, it allows us to create everything that's outside the normal parachute descent. As you can see around the hangar, they can do the drills, but the environment is relatively safe. There's no direct realism to what they would experience underneath that canopy. But in this austerity age, could the new trainer be used to cut real-world jumps and cut costs? It's something that we, we haven't really considered at the moment. It's coming to enhance safety. Uh, we're working on that at the moment. If it's got the potential to replace live descents, then we'll look at that later on. For now, the kid is being used by the parachute training school's own instructors. But the first full course should strap in next month. Will Inglis, Forces News, Bryce Norton.